Russia says its long-range bombers like these carried out airstrikes in Syria against ISIS after taking off for the first time from a base in northwest Iran. Russian aircraft, according to the U.S., struck in Aleppo, Idlib, and Deir Azor. The Russians notified the U.S. they were flying into Syria. Moscow insisted it is going after ISIS. The U.S. disagrees. We have not struck targets in Aleppo in a very long time. We have not struck targets in Idlib in a very long time, if we have at all. Uh, we don't see concentrations of ISIS in those areas. Secretary of State John Kerry called his Russian counterpart to raise concern about using Iran's airbase. That it complicates what is already a tense, complicated situation. Publicly, Russia wants the U.S. to agree to join operations, especially near Aleppo, where tens of thousands of civilians are trapped. The Russian defense minister says Moscow is in very active negotiations with the U.S. That's his uh, messaging on what he wants to happen uh, to, to gain an upper hand, as Russia always attempts to do when they're in these kind of negotiations. Tonight, the State Department said the U.S. is continuing to pursue an agreement. But the U.S. military has been skeptical of any deal with the Russians because of the continued bombing of civilians and anti-Assad rebel groups rather than ISIS targets. The U.S. believes Moscow is still aiming at bolstering the Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad. We're nowhere close uh, to reaching a final agreement while they continue to buy, bomb uh, civilian uh, facilities, especially hospitals, which they have done within the last couple of weeks. If the Russians hope to unnerve the U.S. by using an Iranian airbase to show more cooperation with Tehran, U.S. officials say it did not work. CNN has learned U.S. intelligence assets, including aircraft like these AWACS, were able to track the Russian military as it landed in Iran and throughout its bombing attacks inside Syria.